Have you ever wondered how the threads on the outside of a plumbing pipe, how those are cut? Well, guess what? Today I'm going to show you how it's done and how you can do it yourself at home. And you're not going to believe how easy it is. Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ Drill and uh, you know, maybe you're wondering, well Leah, do I really need to learn how to thread pipe? And you know what I would say is this, it's, it's an incredible skill to have and it's easy, it's an easy skill to learn. Now a lot of times if you're working on your house at home and you're, you need to make a repair to a pipe, if you have the tools and the skills to cut that pipe and thread out a custom piece, it just makes your life so much easier. You don't have to run back and forth to the hardware store to get custom links. You can just do it yourself. And I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are at the workbench, and this is the tool that we're going to be using. It's a ratcheting uh, pipe threader. And what I want to do is before we get started, and I show you exactly how this is done, I kind of want to give you a close-up of the dies. So first, let's look at the dies. Okay, now dies, again, are what create the threads on the outside of pipes, right? And they come in various sizes. I have three here, but actually uh, there are many, many more sizes of dies. And the size of the die, okay, that is used is really it's the pipe's outer diameter that dictates what size die you need. And on the die it will be listed. Let me see if I can pull one up so you can see. It'll be listed on the outside of the die what size it is. So for example, this is a half inch die and it's meant for a half inch pipe. Now maybe you've noticed these things here and what are those, Leo, right? Well, have you heard of taps before? That's what these are, die and tap set, right? Now taps are responsible for creating threads in the inside diameter of a pipe or fitting, like this fitting here. You see where there's threads inside? Well, a tap does that and it works the same way where you have a series of different sizes and depending upon the size of the inner diameter of the pipe well that dictates what size tap you'll need so i'm going to push this out of the way and what we're going to do is we're going to get started with threading a pipe now our die is already set our die is already set in our stock that's what this that's what this is this is called the stock and this is called the die and they just snap in and out I'm gonna pull this one out so you'll see how easy it is to remove it okay and what they do is they just snap in the place there we go it's set now if you've never seen one of these things before I gotta tell you it may look a little complicated but you know what it's really really simple and the best way to kind of illustrate how this thing works is to show you a very simple tool that I'm sure you've seen many, many, many times. And what it is, is it's a ratchet and a socket set, right? Okay? And this ratchet and socket, it works on the same principle. The only difference is you're not threading a pipe, you're, you know, you're tightening a bolt or a nut. Now, it ratchets, okay? And this will ratchet as well. You can change the socket. In this case, you can change the die. And then the other thing that's very important is it goes in two directions just by making an adjustment. Now it turns the other way. Well, the thing is this. This ratcheting th pipe threader does the same thing. You can change the direction, okay, by just flipping the switch. And it ratchets just like the ratchet and a socket set I sh just showed you. So now that you know how it works, what's involved, let's thread some pipe. So I've got my pipe in my vise here. It's very secure. I'm wearing gloves because it gets a little messy because you've got to use cutting oil. And what that oil does is it lubricates the pipe, but most importantly, what it does is it lubricates the teeth on the die and keeps that die lasting a long time because if you don't lubricate it it's wear and tear on that die and it won't last as long. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just oil the outside of the pipe a little bit with some uh, uh, cutting fluid alright but this won't even be enough I'm just going to get it started a little bit I'm going to take my ratcheting uh, uh, pipe cutter right and I'm going to insert the pipe in. Okay so I've got that inserted over the pipe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
put some force on that because we need it to start cutting into the pipe. If we just try to ratchet it, it's not going to do us any good. we got to give it a little force, and then we're going to crank up on it. Okay, so like I said, we're putting force on it, right? And put, really put some force on it because we got to let those teeth start grabbing the outside of the pipe. So I'm going to push forward, and then I'm going to pull up on the, the handle of the ratcheting uh, pipe cutter. You'll feel a resistance has started to bite, and I'll be able to let it go. See, it's on there now. Okay. Now that it's caught, I'm going to start really cutting the threads. Now it's really important to keep it oiled, and now would be a good time for me to stop and oil it. You want to keep those threads lubricated, because that's what's going to help keep your dye cool and lasting long. Now there's an important step that you have to do, that, that I'm going to have to do, and it's called breaking the chips. And what are breaking the chips? Well, breaking the chips are, I have to back the ratchet up to break the chips off. And chips are just uh, shavings. They're the metal shavings, so I'm releasing them. And the way you do that is, remember I told you the ratchet goes in uh, uh, the opposite direction, just like a, a mechanics ratchet? Well, we're going to do the same thing. And I'm just going to back the tool up, backing it up to break the chips. Now, it's important to do this because if you don't do it, then you take the chance of the all those shavings building up on the tool and then they'll damage the threads that you just cut. So just make certain that every now and then you back it up to cut the chips, okay? I'm going to take the time to, to re-oil, keep that lubricated, because that's important too. Just make certain that you keep it lubricated. Also, I keep a bucket right below the tool because the oil drops and the shavings will drop too. It gets messy if you don't have something collecting all those chips and oil. So what you're looking for, see this is the, our pipe right there, okay? We're looking for the pipe to come out about, ooh, about three threads, two to three threads past the teeth. That's the teeth right there. Okay, so that's it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back the tool off of it and we'll be okay. Now I've turned the button to go the opposite direction. Now I'm just going to back it off completely. That's it. So that's our threads here and it's a really nice job. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean that off with a cloth, bring it in close so you can see what the final job looks like. So my threads are nice. Look at how nice and clean they are. A beautiful job, right? And anybody can do this. Now, there's a little bit of a burr on the inside of the pipe. And normally, there's a tool that you use to deburr the inside. Chances are, you're not going to have that special tool. Just use the burring tool on a pipe cutter. Because chances are, you'll have one of these. And you'll be able to work it pretty good. You just want to deburr that, right? Okay, so I've got an appropriate size coupling. Now it's the moment of truth, and I'm just going to try to put our fitting on. Guess what? Like a charm. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Didn't I tell you it's pretty simple stuff? Now, of course, you got to remember, you got to keep your tool oiled. Keep that dye nice and oiled because it's going to prolong the life of your dye, right? Remember, it's going to take a little elbow grease, but I'm sure you're gonna do well. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.